The Softing Gateway MB Gate PA allows for a simple connection of Profibus PA devices to modbus controllers. Up to 64 Profibus PA devices can be connected to virtually any kind of controller. In the following video, we will briefly guide you through the Modbus configuration in the TIA portal, for example, to connect Profibus PA devices to a Sumatic S7500 controller from Siemens. In order to set up Modbus registers in TIA portal for read and write operations, you require the HTML report created via the MBGate PA. How to generate the Profibus configuration and the HTML report can be seen in the video Profibus Configuration with MBGate PA. Open the saved HTML report in an internet browser, in this case Chrome. The report contains the created configuration, including the parameter settings and the Modbus mappings. Navigate to the configured device. Here, you will find the register allocation of the input and output data for the configured slots. Input data is mapped to input registers. Output data is mapped to output register. The data of the device is stored one by one on the registers. The data of a module can start or end on the high or low byte of a register. This is indicated by H for high and L for low. Also in the report, the register is displayed on which the status information of the device can be found. A detailed description of the status information can be found in the user manual. In the following, we will show you how to set the Modbus registers in the TIA portal to read the status information of a device and the input data of an AI module. To do this, open the TIA portal application. We already inserted the controller into the project and configured it accordingly. It is a Somatic S7500. Open the program block main OB1. Insert an MB client instruction. This instruction communicates with the Modbus TCP server of the MB gate PA as a Modbus TCP client. The parameter REQ stands for Modbus request and is level controlled. Define a variable for the parameter to send a communication request. The disconnect parameter is used to control the establishing and termination of the connection to the Modbus server. Set it to false to establish a connection. The parameter MB mode defines the type of the Modbus request. Enter zero for a read request. In the parameter MB data ADDR, the initial register must be entered from which you want to read. You can find this in the HTML report. In this case, this is 8663. The Modbus register specified in the report is a relative address. However, in the TIA portal, you must enter the absolute address. The start register for input register is 30001 and for the holding register, 4001. You must therefore enter 38664 in the TL portal. The number of registers to be read must be entered in the MB data LEN field. The status information of the device occupies one register. The parameter MB data PTR denotes a pointer to a data buffer for the data to be received or transmitted. Connect describes the connection to the Modbus server. For these two parameters, variables must be created. To do this, add a global data block. The variable for describing the connection is of type tcon underscore ip underscore v4. As their interface ID, the hardware identifier of the Profinet interface must be entered, in this case 64.
ID is used to uniquely identify this connection. For TCP, the connection type is 11. Active established defines the type of connection. Enter true for establishing an active connection. In remote address, the IP address of the Modbus server must be entered. The IP address of the Modbus server in the MB gate PA can be found on its web server. In the Internet Browser's address line, write the IP address of the device. You will be prompted to log in with your username and password. You can find the login information in the user manual. Switch to the Modbus TCP configuration to see the set Modbus IP address and the port. This IP address and port are now used in the TIA portal. Define a variable of type word for the status information of the device. Assign the defined variables in the MB client instruction accordingly. Done indicates a successful execution of the instruction. It is set to 1 as soon as the instruction has been executed without errors. To synchronize additional Modbus requests, define a variable for this parameter. Parallel Modbus requests over the same connection are not allowed. To define the remaining output parameters of the MB client instruction, refer to the documentation for the TIA portal. Add an instruction to reset the input parameter REQ so that the MB client instruction is executed only once. To read the input data of an AI module, the created instruction is copied. This must be adapted accordingly. For the input parameter REQ, define the variable that was used for the output parameter done of the other MB client instruction. Thus, the instruction for reading the input data is executed after the reading of the status information. For the register address, look at the Modbus mapping of the input data of the first AI module in the HTML report. It can be seen that the data starts on register 0 and occupies the first two registers as well as the high byte of the third register. Since this is input data, for the register 0, you must enter 3001 in the TIA portal. Adjust the number of registers to be read accordingly. Create a variable of type array for the input data in the global data block. Adjust MB data PTR accordingly in the MB client instruction. Delete the variable in the output parameter done. Add an instruction to reset the REQ input so that the MB client instruction is executed only once. In the following, we will show you how to set the Modbus register in the TIA portal to write the status of the Profibus master. It is possible to change between stop and run mode. A detailed description of these two modes can be found in the user manual. Copy the created MB client instruction. For the input parameter REQ, define a new variable.
to write data, MB mode must be set to 1. The status for the Profibus master of the segment PA1 is mapped to the relative holding register 8628. In the TIA portal, you must enter 48629. The number of registers is 1. In the global data block, create a variable of type word in order to write the Profibus master status. Adjust MB data PTR accordingly in the MB client instruction. Add an instruction to reset the REQ input. Select the controller in the project navigation and compile the data. Download the data to the controller. Continue without synchronization. If necessary, adjust the actions. If necessary, enable the option to start all modules. In the following, we will write the Profibus master status and read out the status information and the input data. Create a watch table to read the status information and the input data of the AI module. Create an entry for the variable of the input parameter REQ of the instruction that is responsible to read the status information. Create further entries for the variables of the status information of the device and the input data of the AI module. Enable the option stating monitor all. Set the value of the variable for the input parameter REQ to true. To read the values, click on Modify Now. The high byte of the status information is the so-called life sign. The value is incremented by 1 with each successful reading of input data from the device. The low byte describes the operating state of the device. The value 4 means that the device is in cyclic data exchange. The first two registers of the input data correspond to the value. The high byte of the last register contains the status. Hex 80 means good. If you click several times on Modify Now, you can see how the data changes. Delete all entries. Create an entry for the variable of the input parameter REQ of the instruction that is used to write the Profibus master status. Create another entry for the variable of the Profibus master status. Set the value of the PB master status variable to 3. This corresponds to the run mode. Set the value of the variable for the REQ input to true. To write the value, click on Modify Now. Now you can see that the value was written. This concludes the Modbus configuration with the Siemens TIA portal and the MB Gate PA. Further information can be found on our website industrial.softing.com. Thank you for your attention.